Question seven. Looking back at your preliminary task, what do you feel you have learned in progression from it to the full product? To make my preliminary task, I used WeVideo, which was a software which was brand new to me as I had not come across, across it before or used it before. From using it to create my mini brief, I was able to get the hang of how the website worked and so by the time I was making my main brief, I had a better understanding of the software and had learned better techniques and effects of using WeVideo and so my main brief had more potential to be better as I had practiced with the software I was using due to my mini brief. While I was filming my mini brief, I hadn't researched different shots used in horror films, so I was not too sure as to what kind of shots people expected to see in horror films. We filmed whatever shots we expected to look good, and we did not plan them out like we did for our main brief, and so the quality of the shots were very different. We used a tripod for both our mini brief and our main brief, however, we struggled to work the tripod and the DSLR camera during our mini brief, and a lot of the time we thought thought we was filming when the camera had not even been set up for filming however because we had experience using dslr camera because of our mini brief for our main brief we was able to use the dslr camera efficiently and we also know how to work the tripod and how to angle it in order to achieve different angles for different shots when we picked the horror genre for our mini brief we were not even, aw even aware that there were subgenres within horror and we did not know much about horror films since my mini brief, I've done a lot more research on the genre and categorised my piece into a subgenre of a psychological horror film. From doing research, we were able to further understand it as to what is expected to be seen in a horror film, and we got to grips with how to present our opening in a way that is clear to the audience that the film is of the horror genre. After my preliminary task, I worked heavily on my research on all aspects of horror films. I researched the making of a horror film, the, su the success, the audiences they attract, and the elements including within them. From researching horror films, I learned a lot about how to target my film in order to meet the target audience in which I chose, and I also learned that picking a certification of a 15 for my film would be the best option for me, as I would not be too restricted to what content I am able to show, and yet I can also attract a wider target audience than I would be able to if my certification was a 12 or a 12A. I also use my textual analysis and questionnaires to find out about my target audience. I've learned from my research the history of horror films and what audiences look for in horror films in the modern day and from my research I was able to develop my ideas for my main brief in order to make it of a higher standard. In my mini brief I included lots of shots which showed a lot of dead space and did not give the audience any information. I included lots of shots which showed a lot of dead space and did not give the audience any information on the locations or characters of the scene. However, from my planning and research, I have learned a lot about dead space and I have learned about the rule of thirds and so I was able to angle my shots for my main brief in a way which showed little dead space as possible. I made sure that the mise on scene was intact for my main brief and so that the whole setting of Jack's house gave clues to his unstable character. I did this by putting a lot of dishes in the sink and lots of alcohol on the countertop. However, in my mini brief, I was aware of how to, of how important positioning shots were, and so the mise en scene for my preliminary piece did not give any information about my character's plot or location. I managed my time well for my main brief so that I had time for refilming when it was needed, and so that I had enough time to finish my evaluations and editing before my deadline. From research and horror films, I know it is that the opening never gives too much away and that in the first three minutes the narrative does not develop very much. In my mini brief, the narrative gave too much away too soon and was too developed for the opening of a horror film and so for my main brief I was able to research openings and learn to slow down the ideas of na my narratives in order to create realism for my piece. The characters in my print preliminary piece are wearing school uniform which does not create a sense of realism for the audience watching and does not support the narrative. However, f from my research I realised the importance of mise en scène and in my main brief my characters were enclosed suitable for the narrative of the piece. The positioning of the credits in my mini brief were in places which were not aesthetically pleasing for the audience and they were also not necessarily put in dead spaces which they should have been. 
Once I did research on credits, I learned about how to position them and what they tend to look like. I also learned about what credits tend to say and how long they run for. Because of my research, I was able to create credits in positions which are visually pleasing and also visually relatable to the genre of the film. I researched titles for horror films and from my research I was able to improve the titles of my film in my main brief from the titles in my mini brief. My mini brief included no non-diegetic sound and non-diegetic sound is included in, uh, in all times due to the effect it creates. Once I did research I realised non-diegetic sound is essential for my main brief and so I ensured to, I used it in my main brief I did plenty of research into the sound which would be included. I included logos of companies whom I worked in synergy with for the production and distribution of my film at the beginning of the opening for my main brief. However, I did not consider who I would be working in synergy with for my mini brief and so I only had the institution logo in which I created by myself. Once I did research, I realised it would be very important to work in synergy with institutions to ensure my film would be successful. There is a moment in my mini brief in which one of the characters looks at the camera. After realising from watching my mini brief how having characters look at the camera ruins the sense of realism, I ensured that my actors acted oblivious to the camera at all times in my main brief. From, from my mini brief, I researched and planned all about horror films and then managed to improve from my mini brief to create my main brief.